This is the dilemma that we face as a global society, and I'll explain it to you very briefly. On the vertical axis here, we have the ecological footprint of the countries of the world. And in 1961, all the countries below this red line were countries living within the capacity of one planet. By 2006, the capacity of the planet had halved because we're using more resources and, of course, the population is growing rapidly. And all the countries that are below that red line are mainly in Africa and Asia. The countries above that line, of course, in Europe, if we all lived the same lifestyle around the world, we would need three planets. If we all lived like Americans, we would need five planets. And if we lived like Saudi Arabians, we would need six planets. And unfortunately, planets are hard to come by and very expensive to build. So we have a problem there. On the horizontal axis here, we have the Human Development Index of the United Nations. As you know, this comprises of health, wealth, and education. All the countries to the right of this vertical red line are countries of high human development. And it's very clear where we are aiming to get our countries. It's in this box where not a single country is. So there is no country in the world that is achieving high human development within the capacity of the planet. We've figured out how to take countries out of poverty to a high quality of life, a good standard of living, but we don't know how to do it yet without sacrificing the environmental resources on which we depend. That is the challenge for our generation, to figure out this dilemma.